and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's contenders will answer questions on the key battle of the Second World War. An historical novelist, a Scottish religious reformer and one of the world's greatest sporting events. This, of course, is the first round in a contest that will test their knowledge like no other quiz can hope to do. There's the black chair and the ticking clock. Two minutes on their chosen subject, two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So let us get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Philippe Dupois. Your occupation? Analyst. And your chosen subject? The history of the World Cup. The competition first held, of course, in Uruguay in 1930. Here we go, two minutes. What was the name of the president of FIFA who gave his name to the original World Cup trophy that was kept by Brazil after their third success in 1970? Jules Rimet. Yes, who captained the Croatia team that beat England in the semi-final of the 2018 World Cup? He also won the Golden Ball Award for the tournament's best player. Lucas Modric. Yes. What name was given to the much-criticised official ball that was used in the finals held in South Africa in 2010? Uh, pass. Which French forward scored the first goal of the first World Cup held in Uruguay on the 13th of July, 1930? Lucien Laurent. Yes. Against which country did Pelé suffer a groin injury in Brazil's second group match in 1962 that left him unable to play again in the tournament? France. Czechoslovakia. Who hit the post in extra time and missed in the penalty shootout when England were knocked out by West Germany in their semi-final in Italia 90? Chris Waddle. Yes. Who refereed a violent match between Chile and Italy in 1962, dubbed the Battle of Santiago? He later came up with the system of red and yellow cards that was introduced in the 1970 competition. Uh, Graham Paul. Ken Aston. What method of deciding matches in extra time was used in the knockout stages in both the 1998 and 2002 tournaments? Golden goal. Yes. Which Serbian coach was in charge of five different teams at consecutive World Cups between 1986 and 2002, namely Mexico, Costa Rica, the United States, Nigeria and China? Pass. By what name was the Golden Glove Award for the tournament's best goalkeeper known when it was introduced in 1994? Golden Hands. The Lev Yashin Award. Who were the only team to beat the hosts, West Germany, in the 1974 tournament? They did so in the first round group stage, but West Germany went on to win the tournament. Argentina. East Germany. What is the name of the Soviet linesman who ruled that Jeff Hurst shot and had crossed the goal line in the 1966 final? Uh, Rakhimov. Bakhramov, yeah. Who scored in all six matches that Brazil played in Mexico in 1970? Hello. No, it was Jairzinho. Uh, you had two passes. That um, Serbian coach in charge of five different teams was Milutinovic. And uh, the name given to that much-criticised official ball in 2010 was the Jabalani. Mm -hmm. Philip, you've scored six points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. Your name is? Alex Patel. Your occupation? Electrician. And your chosen subject? The Battle of Stalingrad. The bloodiest battle of World War II. Two million casualties. Here we go. Starting now. In August 1942, who was appointed Deputy Supreme Commander by Stalin and sent to Stalingrad? Shukov. Yes. What was the code name of the German summer offensive of 1942 through which Hitler aimed to occupy the oil fields in the Caucasus? During the operation, he divided his forces and sent Army Group B to try and capture Stalingrad. Case blue? Yes. What type of weapons were used in unorthodox fashion by female troops trying to stop the 16th Panzer Division from reaching the River Volga? Anti-aircraft. Yes, anti-aircraft guns. Who was given command of the 62nd Army defending Stalingrad in September 1942? He reportedly stated that he would hold the city or die there. Chirikov. Yes. In which Ukrainian town were Hitler's forward headquarters, codenamed Werewolf? From there, he ordered the 6th Army to capture Stalingrad. Pass. What model of tank was produced at the Stalingrad tractor factory until September 1942? T-34. Yes, on the 23rd of November, Soviet forces met close to the village of Sovetsky, near a town on the River Don, to complete the encirclement of the Germans. Which town? 
Kalach. Yes. What was the name of the student resistance movement based in Munich who declared in their final leaflet, the dead of Stalingrad implore us to take action? The White Rose. Yes. What German term, meaning cauldron, denoted the pocket in which around a quarter of a million of their troops were encircled in November 1942? The Kessel. Yes. Who directed the aerial bombing of Stalingrad? He was the cousin of a famous great war fighter pilot. Wolfram von Richthofen. Yes. What code name was given to the German operation launched on the 12th of December with the aim of breaking through the Soviet encirclement to relieve the 6th Army? Operation Winter Storm. Yes. To which rank did Hitler promote the 6th Army commander, Paulus, in January 1943 in the expectation that he would take his own life with German defeat in Stalingrad inevitable? Field Marshal. Yes. What term meaning voluntary helper was used for the thousands of Soviet citizens who served with the German army at Stalingrad? Hiwi. Is correct. You had one pass, Alex. That Ukrainian town where Hitler's forward headquarters were based was Winitsa. You have scored... 12 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. <laughs> and your name is? Susanna Croft. Your occupation? Office Administrator. And your chosen subject? The novels of Sarah Waters. The Welsh author whose first novel was Tipping the Velvet 20 years ago. Two minutes, starting now. What is the name of the haunted house that provides the setting for The Little Stranger? Hundreds Hall. Yes, in Tipping the Velvet, Waters' debut novel, what's the name of the rich widow who picks up the Whitstable oyster girl, Nan King, when she's acting as a rent boy in London? Diana Letherby. Yes. What do Duncan and Mr Mundy call Kay, who they see when they take Mr Mundy for his weekly visit to Mr Leonard for treatment for his arthritis in the night watch? Colonel Barker. Correct. When Francis Ray joins Leonard and Lillian Barber for a drink and the paying guests, they play a board game with variations that include taking their clothes off as a forfeit for landing on certain squares. Which board game? Snakes and Ladders. Yes. What is the real name of the con man known as Gentleman Richard Rivers, who was actually the son of a draper in Fingersmith? Frederick Bunt. Yep. What did Dr Faraday steal from the decorative plaster work on one of the walls of Hundreds Hall when he first went there at the age of ten? An acorn. Yes. When Francis is upset in the paying guests because Lillian's going on holiday with Leonard, Lillian takes her to Brixton as a surprise treat to do what? Roller skating. Yes. In Fingersmith, Richard Rivers dies after he's been stabbed. Who confesses to the crime and is hanged for it? Mrs. Suxby. Yep. What slang term is used for a woman impersonating a man on stage in Tipping the Velvet? Nan King falls in love with one called Kitty Butler. A masher. Yeah. In The Little Stranger, what's the name of the heir's family dog who has to be put to sleep after he bites a visiting child called Gillian Baker Hyde? Jip. Yep. What does Kay buy for Helen for £10 on the black market for her birthday in The Night Watch? It's described as the colour of pearls. Pyjamas. Yeah, pyjamas. Which playing card does Maud give to Charles to give to Sue after he has been sent to take a letter to Mrs Suxby in Fingersmith? Two of hearts. Yes. What is the actual profession of Mr Imry, who performs an abortion on Vivian in The Night Watch that nearly kills her? Dentist. Yes. In Affinity, Margaret Pryor keeps a copy of the painting Veritas that reminds her of Selina Dawes. Who painted it? Crivelli. Yep. The novel The Night Watch uses reverse chronology and has three parts starting in 1947. The second part is set in 1944. In which year is the final part set? 1941. Yes. And you had no passes. You got them all right. You have, Susanna, 15 points. <laughs> And our final contender, please. And your name is? Amos Cameron. Your occupation? Retired IT manager. And your chosen subject? The life and times of John Knox. One of the leaders of the Scottish Reformation broke with the Catholic Church in the 16th century. Two minutes, starting now. John Knox's most celebrated work, published in 1558, is titled The First Blast of the Trumpet Against the Monstrous Regiment of... Women. Yes. Which Protestant reformer who was burnt at the stake in 1546 was a big influence on Knox? Wishart. Yes. Knox is recorded as being ordained a priest in the Catholic Church in 1536. Which bishop ordained him? 
Chisholm. Yes. Knox went into hiding in St Andrew's Castle in 1547 when the castle was under siege following the murder by Protestant rebels of a cardinal in May 1546. Which cardinal? Beaton. Yes. At which church was he a pastor of the English exile community in Frankfurt from the end of 1554 to March 1555? Right, ladies. Yes. Knox was taken prisoner when St Andrew's Castle was captured in July 1547 by a fleet of French galleys. Who was the commander of the fleet? Strozzi. Yep. Mary, Queen of Scots' half-brother, was present at her first meeting with Knox in September 1561. What was his name? James Stewart. Yes. Knox fled to Berwick after his release from the French galleys. Which city did he move to where he became the incumbent at St Nicholas's Church? Newcastle. Yes. Which politician did he secretly meet in Berwick in 1559 in an attempt to get English financial and military support for the Scottish Protestants? Croft. Yes. In which town, now a city, is the Church of St John the Baptist, where Knox preached a sermon in May 1559 that denounced the Catholic Mass and idolatry? Perth. Yes. What name is given to the 25 Articles of Faith that were codified by the six Johns, including Knox, and adopted by the Scottish Parliament in 1560? Confession of Faith. Yes, the Scots Confession. The Scots Confession laid out the spiritual tenets of the Reformed Church. What work also by the six Johns and published the same year outlined its formal structure? First Book of Discipline. Yes. Which city did Knox return to in April 1555, where he was elected Joint Minister of the English Protestant Church? Geneva. Yes. Knox wrote to William Cecil in 1570, advocating the execution of Mary, Queen of Scots, and signed himself John Knox with one... No. Sinclair. <laughs> one foot in the grave. Oh. Yeah. Hamish, no passes? 13 points. Yeah. And now it's time to invite all our contenders back into the studio together for the first time. It is the general knowledge round now. Of course, two and a half minutes of questions. If there's a tie at the end of it, the person with the fewer passes will be the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. And now, because they have not seen each other's specialist subject rounds, the contenders only know what they themselves have scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. And as always, we start this round with the contender with the lowest score, who is Philip. Philip, you start this round with six points. You have two and a half minutes with general knowledge. Here we go. Which Queen of Egypt has been played in films by Claudette Colbert, Vivian Lee, Amanda Barry and Elizabeth Taylor, among others? Cleopatra. Yes. What kind of pie has become the traditional Thanksgiving Day dessert in America? Pumpkin pie. Yep. Which composer's fourth baptismal name was Theophilus, meaning beloved of God, although Amadeus, the Latinized version of the name, is generally used? Mozart. Yes. Which character in a well-known horror story lands at Whitby in the shape of a huge dog that runs from a beached Russian ship called the Domita? Dracula. Yes. Which special administrative region of China has an airport on Czech Lock Island? It replaced the previous airport at Kai Tak in 1998. Hong Kong. Yes. Whose television roles include Camilla Hope in Compact and Edith Artois in Allo Allo? Carmel Silvera. Yes. What adjective that denotes speech characterised by informal or regional words comes from the Latin for conversation? Dialect. Colloquial. Which rock star's E Street band featured the saxophonist Clarence Clemens from 1972 till his death in 2011? Bruce Springsteen. Yes. In what sport did Fred Perry become world champion in 1929, five years before the first of his three victories at the Wimbledon Lawn Tennis Championships? Uh, tennis. Oh, uh, tennis. No, table tennis. What were kept in a small flat box called a Vesta case in the late 19th century? Matches. Yes. Which Oxfordshire town on the River Cherwell has a famous cross? It was destroyed by the Puritans in 1602, but replaced by a replica in 1859. Banbury. Yep. In what country are Henning Mankell's Inspector Kurt Wallander novels mainly set? Denmark. Sweden. Which black and white wading bird, distinguished by its long upturned bill, is the symbol of the RSPB? Ren. Avocet. Buckminster fullerene is an extremely stable football-shaped molecule. It consists of 60 atoms of what chemical element? Pass. A golem is a shapeless mass that is brought to life by the use of God's name, according to the folklore associated with which religion? 
Do you say so? Yes. Which star of the silent screen plays herself in Airport 1975, her last film? Pass. The largest of the Alpine lakes straddles the French-Swiss border. What's it called? Geneva. Yes. In April 2017, who bought a luxury shepherd's hut for his Cotswold home for a reported £25,000? He said he planned to use it as a writing studio. Roll down. David Cameron, what is the name of the island that forms the least densely populated borough of New York City? The Bronx. Staten Island. Two passes. Philip Gloria Swanson was the star of the silent screen who played herself in Airport 75 and Buckminster Fullerene consists of uh, atoms of carbon. But you've shot up. You've now got a very respectable 17 points. <laughs> and next in the chair, Alex. With 12 points. And at the moment, 17 is the score to beat. And here we go, two and a half minutes of general knowledge. With what party did Britain's Social Democratic Party formally merge in March 1988? Liberal Democrats? No, Liberals. The French-American sculptor Louis Bourgeois was particularly noted for her sculptures later in her career of an eight-legged creature. What creature? Spider. Yes. Which Irish poet and playwright set several of his poems at Cool Park, the estate of his friend Lady Gregory, who founded Dublin's Abbey Theatre Company with him? James Joyce. No, W.B. Yeats. Which dessert consists of a layer of sponge cake topped by a thick slab of ice cream, all of which is blanketed with meringue and then baked for a short time in a very hot oven? Baked Alaska. Yes. What language is the preschool television series Dora the Explorer designed to teach to English-speaking children? Pass. In which English national park are there mountains called Glaramara and Blencathra? Cairngorms. Uh, the Lake District. What word that means pompous and over-elaborate language originally meant raw cotton or a type of cotton padding? Wadding. Bombast. Cassiterite is the principal commercial ore of a metal that has been mined in Cornwall since ancient times. What metal? Tin. Yep. In darts, how many points are scored by a dart that lands in the inner ring of the bullseye? 25. 50. Which Manchester band had their third and last UK chart-topping single with Dreadlock Holiday in 1978? 10cc. Yes, which American oil billionaire opened his first museum to hold his art collection at his home in Malibu, California in 1953? Pass. In what Rossini opera, whose plot is also used in a pantomime, are the heroine's stepsisters called Clorinda and Tisby? Pass. Which king was buried in Gloucester Cathedral in September 1327 after his murder at the nearby Barclay Castle? Pass. Which 2018 film stars Joaquin Phoenix as Jesus and Rooney Mara as the title character? Pass. What figure of Greek mythology is a symbol of grief and sorrow because she wept for many days and nights after her children were killed? Athena. Niobe. Mombasa is the principal port of which country? Kenya. Yes. The hair of what animal native to Britain has traditionally been used to make the best quality shaving brushes? Badger. Yes. Which cat did T.S. Eliot describe as the mystery cat in his old possum's book of practical cats? Garfield. Macavity. The name of a... Start, it's all finished. The name of a short, cropped male hairstyle is said to come from its use by American college rowing teams. What is it? Buzz cut. Yeah. Your passes, five of them. That um, 2018 film was Mary Magdalene. The King buried in Gloucester Cathedral in 1327, Edward II. The Rossini opera, Cinderella. The American oil billionaire was J. Paul Getty. And the language uh, they tried to teach in Dora the Explorer is Spanish. Alex, you have 18 points. And next, Hamish again, please, with uh, 13 points and 18 is the score to beat as it stands, Hamish. Here we go, general knowledge coming up. Buenos Aires is the capital city of which country? Argentina. Argentina, yeah. Which 1980s television sitcom is set in Maplin's holiday camp in Crimpton-on-Sea? Heidi High. Yes. What term is used in ballet for dancing on the tip of the toe in specially designed stiffened shoes? En point. Yes. What novel by George Eliot tells the story of a reclusive weaver who adopts a little girl called Epi? Cyrus Marner. Yes. In which country is the resort area of Pyeongchang which hosted the 2018 Winter Olympics? 
South Korea. Yes. What word for a newspaper or official journal is thought to come from the Italian for a small coin or from the diminutive of the Italian for a magpie? Pass. Which English cathedral houses the Mappa Mundi, a circular map of the world drawn on vellum that dates back to the 13th century? Hereford. Yes. What two-word name is given to the Turkish speciality of marinated meat, usually lamb, packed onto a vertical spit, roasted and then thinly sliced? Shish kebab. Donna kebab. In 1655, John Wallace invented the symbol resembling a figure eight on its side that represents a mathematical concept. What concept? Infinity. Yes. Whose first novel, The Beach, was made into a film starring Leonardo DiCaprio? Alan Garland. Yep. What is the largest city in the American state of Illinois? Springfield. Chicago. What instrument is well-tempered in the title of J.S. Bach's collection of two sets of 24 preludes and fugues for solo keyboard? Clavier. Yeah, the clavier. Whose first successful starring role as the boxer Rocky Graziano in the 1956 film Somebody Up There Likes Me? Stallone. Paul Newman. What is the name of the thrice-daily Catholic devotions that are signalled by a bell and consist of three Hail Marys and other prayers? Pass. Which Norwegian painter said to have been inspired to paint his work The Sick Child by memories of the death of his elder sister from tuberculosis? It's widely regarded as his first major work. Munch. Yes. Which jazz trumpeter recorded the classic albums Kind of Blue and Bitches Brew? Pass. What term that means living space, coined by the 19th century German geographer Friedrich Ratzel, was used by the Nazis for their expansionist policies in the East? Liebenschrauben. Yes. What common name is given to any of the marine reptiles with bony shells, such as the hawksbill and the loggerhead? Turtle. Yep. Dictum meum pactum, usually translated as my word is my bond, is the motto of a British financial institution. What institution? Stock exchange. Yeah. What animal assists in the method of flowering plant pollination called ornithophily? Insects. Birds. Of which southern African country is Bulawayo, the second largest city? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is correct. Three passes. Miles Davis was the uh, jazz trumpeter. The Angelus is the name of the thrice daily Catholic devotions. And Gazette a newspaper or official journal. You have, Hamish, 27 points. <laughs> Finally into the chair, Susanna. And uh, your score was 15. 27 is now the score to beat, however. Here we go. The Imagine Mosaic in New York Central Park is a memorial to which former Beatle? John Lennon. Yes. Who presents the television series The Island, in which participants are placed on a remote, uninhabited Pacific island as a test of their survival skills? Bear Grylls. Yes. The blacksmith Joe Gargery and the eccentric Miss Havisham are characters in a novel by Charles Dickens. Which one? Great Expectation. Yes. What traditional Irish bread, raised without yeast, has wholemeal flour and buttermilk as its principal ingredients? Soda bread. Yes. Who said in 1991, at the start of the First Gulf War, the great, the jewel and the mother of battles has begun? George Bush. Saddam Hussein. In what six-a-side sport was a defensive position known as a libero introduced in 1998? Pass. In 1874, the Norwegian dramatist Henry Gibson asked Edward Grieg to supply incidental music for a new setting of one of his plays. Which play? Doll's House. Peer Gint. Which of the Channel Islands is traditionally ruled by an overlord known as the Seigneur when male or the Dame when female? Jersey. Sark. What is the international standard unit of mass? It is almost exactly equal to 2.2 pounds. Pass. A recording of I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas was played on the radio in April 1975 as a signal for the Americans to evacuate which Asian city? Saigon. Yes. Catherine Elizabeth Hudson is one of the featured singers on Calvin Harris's 2017 UK number one single, Feels. How is she better known? Katy Perry. Yes. In which seaside town in Kent did the Turner Contemporary Arts Centre open in 2011? Canterbury. Margate. The Scarlatti Inheritance, published in 1971, was the first novel by which American author? Pass. What award did Barack Obama say he was surprised and deeply humbled to receive in October 2009? Nobel Peace Prize? Yes. In the film version of a Rodgers and Hammerstein musical, Yul Brynner stars opposite Deborah Kerr, who plays Anna Leon Owens, the English governess, to the King of Siam's children. What's the film? 
the king and I? Yes. Whose letters to the Galatians, Thessalonians, Corinthians and Romans, among others, are books in the New Testament? St Paul. Yes. Which fictional hero who was created by Edgar Rice Burroughs has a name that means white skin in the language of the apes? Tarzan. Yes. Bamako on the river Niger is the capital city of a West African country. Which country? Nigeria. Mali. You had uh, three passes, Susanna. Robert Ludlam wrote The Scarlatti Inheritance. You'll be cross with yourself mm -hmm. about this one. The International Standard Unit of Mass, a kilogram. Oh. Yeah, I know, <laughs> it, the brain goes in other directions, doesn't yeah. it? And that six-a-side sport, volleyball. You have a total now of 25 points, which means that Hamish is the winner. Well, pretty close. Let's have a look at all of those scores. In fourth place, 17 points, Philip. Third place, 18 points, Alex. Second place, 25 points, Susanna. First place, 27 points, Hamish. And he goes through to the semi-finals. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at mastermindquiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.